temple, you're coming to a European way of living, if you wish, you know, um, a European restaurant sort of thing within within Charlottesville. I lived in uh, in center of France. I lived in Tahiti. I lived in the Riviera, Monaco, and uh, Paris, and America, Las Vegas. But whatever I've been in. I bring it all over with me, it's all in tempo. We've always been into the uh, restaurant business, the family. My dad always been in there, worked for uh, great chefs in France, uh, well-renowned. And, uh, but funnily enough, the more I got into the job and the more I got into uh, the profession and the more I'm a chef, we find out and we talk with family and find out that it comes back to even before my dad being in the restaurant business. My grandmother was in the restaurant business, my grandparents were in the restaurant business. It's, it's, it's an ongoing thing for, for French uh, chefs, the family, it's French businesses. It's, there are a few like that in the States, but in, in France it's, it's in general always like that. You know, it's, it's a family business. I decided to go to uh, Osteris, uh, Hospitalisty School in, uh, in Strasbourg, in, on the side the um, German border, which is a big area for food, hospitality, I mean this. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's uh, one of the greatest chefs in America, Jean-Georges Van Scherichten, comes from that school, he's Alsatian and he's been there. So three years over there, went to some, uh, you know, uh, with fair enough long period of uh, work experience, stage in between uh, seasons. So there I was training, in, uh, I was going to Luxembourg to a restaurant where um, the chef worked with my dad at Roger Verger at the time when he was a three star in South France. Concerning uh, the stars in France, they are awarded by the Michelin Guide and in food you have one star, two stars and three stars and um, it's very limited. Um, in the one star, two stars, and three stars in France, there's probably only about 600, 700 restaurants in all of France that have stars. I first started as a, a line cook into a, a luxury uh, brasserie. It was like a, a downscale uh, fine dining restaurant for a hotel. And then that's when I got the opportunity to go to um, the next house in the three star. 59 Raymond Poincaré in Paris and then what well, that was a different world. Things are a little different in, in, in the States. I spent five years learning to be to serve on the table. So you think I'm ridiculous you know but in reality in France you have a two-year two apprenticeship to be you know serve on the table. Opening Tempo was uh, a vision something that I got into me a long time. I'm French trained cooking wise and owning Fleury for 10 years that has a fairly nice reputation as a French restaurant but you know I grew out of it I gained confidence in my cooking and my skill and my personality got more and more infused into my cooking and I figured you know I have a background I went around the world I saw a lot of things but I want to offer something else. That I think that was one of his ideas of creating Tempo was to, to be flexible and not be typically French, French, French. I think he wanted to get away from that idea and be a little more international, if you wish. And I think, I think he's accomplished that.